taking the government to court. Today I'm talking with Family Action Council of Tennessee's David Fowler. They're one of our 40 state-based family policy councils. David, it's always good to have you here. Good to be with you, Kim. Thank you. Absolutely. Well, first, explain to us a little bit about what this lawsuit does. Well, it, it's a bit complicated, so I'll try to make it simple for the non lawyer if, if people remember, in June of 2015, the United States Supreme Court, in a case called the Bergenfeld v. Hodges, said that state laws were invalid if they excluded same-sex couples from civil marriage. Well, the natural question that most lay people understand, that I hate to say lawyers overlook, is, well, if the law's invalid, what's then the law? So we have filed a lawsuit by ministers, uh, those licensed to solemnize marriages, saying we are subject to criminal penalties under the state law if we marry people without them having a valid marriage license law. And so when the Supreme Court said that if your state law excludes same-sex couples, and Tennessee does, it requires that the applicants be male and female, what law do we now have in Tennessee? And are we subject to criminal sanctions uh, if, if we solemnize a marriage under the statute? Of course, they can do religious ceremonies, but not legal ceremonies. But the other question is, County clerks, who in our state issue marriage licenses, are, are now issuing licenses to same-sex couples. And the, we've had citizens join the lawsuit to say they are acting illegally. If the, if the law has been invalidated, they have no authority to issue a license at all, let alone a license to a same-sex couple, until some court decides what of our law is left after Obergefell. So we have... We've raised an important constitutional question related really to the rule of law. Now, recently there was an effort to dismiss this case, but the court actually put that down. Tell me what that means. Well, that's right. There had been motions to dismiss our legal theory, and the court uh, just denied those motions. That means that the court has said that our legal theory has enough merit that it should be decided by a court. doesn't mean we'll win. The court could decide that you just simply sever the words male and female out of the statute and go on. But the court could say, no, the Supreme Court actually invalidated your state law and your marriage license law is invalid. So essentially this just means we get our day in court to ask the question, what is the effect of the Supreme Court's ruling on our state laws? And this ruling has created issues all over the nation. What do you hope to gain by your lawsuit? Well, to be honest, our goal is to take up the challenge that Justice Scalia gave us in his dissenting opinion in Alberta. In his last sentence, he said, the court has no authority to impose new laws on states to rewrite state statutes. And he said, eventually, we will be reminded of our impotence. Those were his words. And as I pondered that, I thought, you're right. Somebody needs to challenge the court to say, you have no authority to amend a state law or to impose a new state law on a state. Only state legislative bodies can enact statutes. So our goal is sort of to call the court out to remind them of their impotence, to say, you have started down a constitutional path of decision-making that allows the court to dictate affirmatively what laws the state must have. And our hope is that ultimately we'll get back to the Supreme Court and they'll reverse the Obergefell case and return to the states their authority they've had since the beginning to define them. All right. Well, this is one to watch. We'll keep an eye on it. Thanks for being here. You know, we love working with Family Action Council of Tennessee. Well, thank you. We love being a part of a wonderful network of folks and being able to get out the word about important things happening in a state like this that can affect everybody in the country. You can find out more about our alliance of state-based organizations. Just go to FamilyPolicyAlliance.com and click on Allies.